Good evening. This is the Tuesday, December 12, 2023, regular meeting of the Plumbing Borough Planning Board, called pursuant to the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act. Both adequate and electronic notice of this meeting has been provided by way of publication in the Hunter Democratic Courier News newspaper is on or about January 18, 2023. In addition, notice of the meeting was posted on the door of the Borough Plumbing and Municipal Building here at 38 Park Avenue and any handicapped accessible entrances there too. Post on the municipal website provides the municipal clerk and distributed to all persons, if any, requesting copies of same. This meeting is being recorded with both audio and video and may be rebroadcast. This meeting is a judicial proceeding. Any questions or comments must be limited to the issues that are relevant to what the board may legally consider in reaching a decision. And decorum appropriate to a judicial hearing must be maintained at all times. I ask everyone please rise as you're able for the flag salute. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mayor Harris, here. Councilor <coughs> Miller, here. Mr. Campion is excused. No, Mr. Campion's online. Oh, um, I, I'm I, here. He's not. Oh, it's next to you. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, sorry. Getting ahead of myself. Mr. Joshna, here. Mr. Levitt, here. Mr. Cook. Here. Ms. Giffen. Here. Ms. Weitzman. Here. Mr. Hill. Here. Mr. Cimino. Here. Mr. Echo. Here. Ms. DeMario. Um, Mr. Show. Here. Kaczynski. Here. Mr. Clarico, Ms. McManus, and Mr. Troutman are excused. Thank you. As always, item one on the agenda, period for public comments for items not currently in front of the board. There's no one in the room. There's one person remote. If you'd like to speak, you can raise your hand. Okay, seeing none, item two, mayor comments. Do we have any today that have been to wish everybody? Oh, I'm not wishing anybody happy holiday today. We still have another meeting. No <laughs> comment tonight. <laughs> Susan? Um, I think the only thing I wanted to mention was it was confirmed last, there was some question on the original um, schedule anticipated for Liberty Village. Um, we definitely won't have a, a, a review of that. It won't be sent over to here for January. It'll be either late December, January, or February, but it won't be earlier of January. Okay. And Happy Hanukkah, we can say that right now. You can absolutely say yeah. tonight's yeah. Six Happy Hanukkah. Exactly. Yes. Still smell like dry. Okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> Item four, HBC comments, Dennis. Tonight, we have our meeting tomorrow. All right, thank you. Uh, item five on the agenda is approval of the minutes from our November 28th, 2023 regular meeting, which were previously circulated. I can get a motion and a second on the minutes. Moved. Second. Oh. Any discussion, clarifications, questions, or correct, uh, corrections, or whatever for the minutes? Mayor Carroll? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Mrs. Engelhart? Yes. Mr. Campion? Yes. Joshna? Yes. Mr. Levitt? Yes. Ms. Giffen? Yes. Ms. Weitzman? Yes. Mr. Hill? Yes. Thank you. Item six on the agenda is resolution um, memorializing action taken by the board uh, for application 2023-02 Douglas Stryker Block 35 Block 60 13 Brown Street. Um, that was circulated to that everybody at the meeting. Mm -hmm. um, can I, uh, those eligible to vote are listed on the agenda. Can I get a motion and a second? So, second one. Who is the first? Any uh, discussion? Mr. Hill? Yes. Mr. Levin? Yes. Mayor Carroll? Yes. Councilwoman Angor? Yes. Mr. Campion? Yes. Asha? Yes. Ms. Weitzman? Yes. Yes. Item seven on the agenda was the resolution for blessed wellness, which was not ready yet. Uh, we we'll carry that to the next meeting. Get that done as soon as we can. Um, item eight on the agenda is the uh, previously carried, uh, previously announced, I should say, notice a public hearing for Chick fil A, Incorporated Block 44, Lot 7. Um, at the request of the applicant, we are going to carry that 
to our next meeting, December 19, 2023, here at Borough Hall at 7 p.m. No further notice will be given. Item nine on the agenda is the continuation of the public hearing for Wurtsville Road Properties, LLC, application 2022-05, block 45, lots 11, 12, and 15, continued from October 24th and November 14th at the request of the applicant. Um, that is also going to be carried. Um, we originally thought it was printed on the agenda was that they were gonna be carried to the 19th at the request of the applicant, um, seeing that there's another matter in front of the board on the 19th, they would request us to carry them to January. Work of legal, the only other meeting that's been adopted on the book so far by the board is our reorg meeting, which is on January um, that'll be 9th, right? So we are carrying this officially to January 9th, 2024, 7 p.m. here at Borough Hall. But for anyone watching the recording, uh, please know that we will not be hearing it on the 9th. We're gonna carry it to what we anticipate to be our January uh, 23rd meeting. And we'll make that announcement we'll, also as well on January 9th. We'll make the announcement on the 9th. Um, and just as another um, uh, yes. item as chair thing, Central Station, which is on the agenda for next week, they're not going to be heard next week. This is not an official, we'll make it an official next time, but they're also going to be carried into January. So, so. this is really frustrating because, um, you know, Chick-fil-A, when they came originally before us, Chair, you know, they were like, we want to hear get in, 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 in. Anytime you have a cancellation, we can come in. So we had the cancellation for tonight. And they were supposed to be, they would have been the only business tonight. So you built a meeting around them to talk about other things. And, you know, now they're going to be the only thing on the 19th. And it's right before the holidays. And I just don't think this is fair. But, you know, they were the ones who said, we can come in whenever you have a cancellation, which would have been tonight. So we've built... Two meetings around, we're building two meetings around Chick fil A. You know, and it's Doesn't just there a note that, that uh, from Chick fil A that will talk to their well, their engineer and I think another um, consultant okay. or one of their witnesses could not make it, but I don't know why they didn't realize that before they went to the read and, and notice for and it's, it's frustrating enough that Central Station and Worsville have been canceling for months, which were deemed complete, uh, even though they never were, and that's bad enough, but this thing with Chick-fil-A, like I said, we just built two meetings around them at the holidays, and really, we could have, we could have done all of, everything we needed to do in one night, like we didn't need to do tonight, we could move anything that we talked about tonight, we could have moved on to the 19th, so I just don't, I don't know why we're accommodating these people, why we're accommodating them, I really don't, and I love Chick-fil-A, and I love the owner, but I really don't know why we're accommodating any of these people, why we're going to accommodate them, frankly. They certainly aren't accommodating us. There's legal. It's not like it hasn't happened before. The Chick fil A thing isn't legal because we were squeezing them in as a courtesy. That was not the fault. And deeming the other two complete when they really weren't also was a courtesy. So that wasn't legal either. So I don't know if we can cancel the 19th and move them into 2024 chair, but for Chick-fil-A, because they, they are literally the only thing on the agenda at this point. And we do have coverage. Uh, the clerk has to cover, but she's yeah. out. She's actually on vacation on the 20th. Right. And she's coming in she specifically to, to, to cover my meeting. Yeah. Which is yeah. kind of So we trying to, worth reaching out to them just to double check, given those factors there of um, that we're getting somebody in specially. I check that they're actually going to turn up and not just suddenly say, well, actually, we can't come next week, so we need to, we'll, we'll agree to push into January. Are we allowed to reach out to them and ask them? We can certainly ask them, but we, but, but here's the thing, that they're, they're supposed to be a public meeting tonight. And so we have that we can't carry it to a date certain absent other communication. So we have to carry it to either to, to, to either the 19th or if they had consented, they could have carried it to the, to the January 9th meeting. Look, I have no problems with us doing a Zoom. If they can consent to move in January and we could have a Zoom meeting on the 19th to just literally gavel in and carry them, we could do that. But, but you know, I would also, I would just, I just want them to be out. I just want them to get done. So. Well, yeah, which is why we were shoehorning yeah. it in tonight. 
to help them get done. That's what they they articulated to the board. I could certainly make some calls to find out availability, um, but we would need to do something on the 19th either way. That's that's a definite. Out whether it's you know one person and, and I. I, I could come here in person and everyone else exactly. can be on Zoom. I don't mind doing that if we just be on the 19th. And actually, it doesn't even have to be everybody. It's just quorum to be on the 19th Correct. on Zoom. We're being, you know, so we need five, <laughs> which is fine. Happy to do that if you think. Um, uh, so if that's, if that's a possibility, you let us, yeah, reach out and say, I will do that. Maybe we could carry them to our uh, reorg. The reorg. It's always an option. Oh, that was an eye roll from Don Eckel over there. I well, was wondering if it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you got to like what I was doing, or don't we? Not really. Not really. I, the, the reorg meeting, everyone, the new people get sworn in. We vote for chair and vice chair. We vote on the meetings. We vote on the, the professional the presentation, the newspaper and stuff. It's, it's, and that's usually kind of hmm, 10 minutes. Yeah, it's, it tends not to be terribly too long. That way. Um, this reminded me of something. We're up to chair items, so sure. <laughs> all the chair items. <laughs> right, so anyway, so before, before we end before this, we I will check to see Thank if they see. would like to move it to the reorg meeting of January. I think we can do it on January. We have to come there for the group. Yeah, I don't want to like, I just think that we're being taken advantage of by a lot of these applicants, and I've been watching this all year, where we've just been taken advantage of it. It's just not right. You know, we need to stop. We, we need to make a shift and they need to stop. So thank you. I put that's my piece. And it, and it does push the, the professionals to, to try and uh, get their, their reviews done. They take a couple of months to get the plans done, and then they give them 10 days. And we have to. Uh, no, we kind definitely of, push we back. We kind of put the. Put the we push back on the applicants. So um, okay. I did yes, forget. Yeah. I wanted to ask the planning board members, uh, because there's not going to be a significant change up here. Um, the new arts committee that was formed and then the, uh, at the request of the planning board and then the ordinance was adopted uh, calls for the mayor to appoint somebody from the planning board and somebody from HPC um, and somebody from council. So I wanted to ask if anybody on the planning board was interested before I force you. <laughs> but I'd like to know if somebody was interested. The requirement is that you just meet when there's actually an application. So there would be a rework meeting, and you know, among yourselves, I guess you would select the chair because that's silent in the ordinance. And then it would be a meeting whenever somebody, whenever like a business has uh, or a citizen wants to put public art in public spaces. This is not private property. So, and, it, and it's a group that would review what they want to make put up, make sure it's not, uh, make sure that it's appropriate. Make sure it's, not, it's appropriate. Um, and then you only meet whenever, there, like I said, whenever there's an application. It might be once a year, it might be zero a year, it might be five times a year. So I just would like to know if anybody from the planning board would like to be considered for this because I want to make it a happy group where people want to serve. Happy groups are always better. Happy groups are always better. Just, and, you know, if anyone, you don't have to step up right now, but you know, think about it. And yeah, I'd like to make the appointments at the rework. So, okay. are, you, are you raising your hand? I well, so <laughs> I, I'm, I I would like to say yes right now. I'm just going through a, a little bit of a tough time because I'm my my youngest is going through like an insane regression. Um, so like I would love to say yes. Um, right now I'm just kind of like a little mind boggled a little. But is it something I can do through Zoom? Like, do I have to be present at the meetings? Can it be like this? Hold on, sorry. No, because it is public art, so they might want to do site visits to see where it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing, because it's yeah. spaces. So right. uh, you are interested. And I should also add that this the appointments, they're staggered the first time around, then they become all three year appointments. But they are with the seat, right? So if you leave the planning board, you leave the public arts committee because you're right, board. right. So anybody else besides Hannah interested? <laughs> yeah. that, like, uh, is that is, can you bring your toddler along with you to like look at a public space? I mean, yeah, I I would love to. <laughs> um, well, 
Wow. Yeah, I just I might I just don't have like the clearest. I mean, not that anyone does, but I just don't have like the clearest of schedules yet. Um, and I I wish. Let me. I want to. Let me just think on it a little bit more, and then if if there's any more, um, like clarification on if there's like any uh, uh like more of like a, a time frame scheduling that I could be aware of. I don't know if there is one yet or not. Um, yeah. It's the application of public art. It's it. It might right. not. Yeah. Have to be all year, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they got it organized, right? You yeah. got it organized. Yeah. So if right. contacting and being the person who goes to Carlos so that there's public notice about the public art hearing because there's a public art. Right. Process. I can send you. The yeah. Email. But they sent. Yes. Yeah. Set and then just no, cancel them. No, no. Or you would have, have, have to advertise for a special meeting. There, everything is going to be a special meeting um, unless they decide as a group that they only want to take this on once a year and they're going to all meet December first or something. Like or later. It's or only when there's an application. So, right. I'll send you the ordinance, Anna. You take a look at it. And yeah. Please, yeah, because I'm interested in it. I just, I would hate to be like the person. Like, I just don't want to be like super, in, like all. I'm so. I wish I wasn't all over the place right now. <laughs> it's be this huge commitment because yeah, it's only public spaces and public, you know, and when there's some right really money. Yeah, yeah, or a grant or something in public areas. Right. So, well, and I and I really appreciate all that too, and I want to kind of support that as much as I can. It's all good. So no, we need we need we need people to step up. So Anna is a maybe. Anna is a maybe. Yeah. Anna's Anna's else is interested. In and then everybody's going to take one step back, and whoever yeah. the last person gets it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Other um. I need to say we're up to chair items. Um. So that's one chair item. Second thing is um. The meeting dates. The meeting dates. Are oh, next, we can do that next. So the only question I had was with the um, comments from um, Susan that do we need that third meeting in January? We don't. This yeah. So let's take that. Uh, let's just take that. Yeah. 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 We're talking. Should be very happy. We're doing the reorg already announced, and then whatever the. Great. All right. But everything else on that revised list looks good. So she could finalize that for her. I think so, but if, but if you could circulate it one more time, I yeah, absolutely. Show it to Carla too, because Carla said you guys now. Yeah, okay. On the calendar. I will. I was going to that same exact same thing as I had talked with Carly yesterday, and I know they're putting together the council stuff, and you know there's always some conflicts. So yeah, definitely check in with. And them. if if we need to just figure out because we have council calendar, we need to make adjustments on our end. Just just send me a note and just figure that out by yourself. Yeah. It won't be hard. Um, so next meeting is the 19th. We already talked about what that may or may not look like. Um, and uh, reorg is all on January 9th. Um, that's really all I have under chair items. Does anybody else has anything to add? No, it's okay. <laughs> all good. Um, uh, Jeff, yeah, uh, I, had, I had a question back on Central Station. Um, what is the process to make sure that they give like architectural drawings? You know, they so, gave the plot site plan, but you know, did they think that they were complete with what they handed off? Yeah. Their email said that they were that architectural updated architecturals were forthcoming. And right okay. before um Karen was calling her husband to see when the January meeting of the HBC was to see if we could figure out what the timeline is. If Central doesn't get those with enough time for HPC to review it at their January meeting, we, we HPC has to review it. Like it's not a this is not a okay. not for discussion. It's just they gotta they gotta get that stuff taken care of. So we'll okay. make sure they understand that. So as soon as HPC has its tentative schedule for January, then we should just so that we can let them know that it's gotta have enough advanced time so that it can get reviewed and meet the HBC meeting and let John Hatch have time to do his and out all the stuff that he does and everything. So okay. well, you know, again, it was one of the no it was Monday night. And, Monday. and the hydrology stuff that we got, they should be able to then look at that. Stuff. So they should be having enough time. They should. I don't think there's too much for big change. No, but they should get a chance to look at it, right? Yes. Yes, I have one. Thanks. Please. It sounds like we're 
probably not going to have to be a, a group next week. I just want to. Yeah, it, it's, it sounds like it. So I'll say this now. Um, I have I really just enjoy working with everybody this year as as a, you know council uh, rep on the board, and I have no idea if I'll be assigned it again next year. So I just want to thank everybody for you know working so hard this year. And if I'm not on the board next year, that means that my tenure, 16, 17 years, will come to an end. So I wanted to just encourage everybody kind of out there in the audience to, you know, um, step up and volunteer because it really, you know, 17 years of, of volunteer, you know, that's where I started as a, as a, a second alternate or something. And it really makes a, a big difference when everybody in the community kind of does their Part, even if it's just a small committee that you can commit at a time, you can donate. I really, really would appreciate it if people stepped up and volunteered their time on any sort of committee. It would really be great. And it's just a, been a real great pleasure to work with you guys. Thank you, Susan. Uh, <clears throat> any other share items? Okay, so bills were circulated. I get a motion on the bills. So move we'll forward. Second. Mr. Krupp? Yes. Mayor Carroll? Yes. Councilwoman Engelhardt? Yes. Mr. Campion? Yes. Ashton? Yes. Mr. Levitt? Yes. Ms. Giffen? Yes. Ms. Whitesman? Yes. Mr. Hill? Yes. Thank you all. Um, so item 12 is professional reports. Our engineer planner and traffic engineer were excused. Um, Kara has one small item in public session. Yep. Um, and then we're going to go into executive session. And uh, the executive session is going to be not only just to discuss professional contracts, but also the things she's about to tell you about. Yeah. So uh, just briefly, we have been discussing at the past couple meetings the status of the living or non-living wall. Um, I recently was able to get some information in response to a letter that was drafted to uh, the applicant. And we have confirmation that they are experiencing some financial difficulties. Um, we'll discuss a little bit more under the potential litigation exception to uh, public discussion and executive session about this. Um, but uh, we have received a response. So things are moving along. We'll expand on it. Do you need a motion to amend the agenda? So I think it's more of the resolution to go into executive session to now include both items. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, it's a bit have on I'll make that amendment. Motion. So it's a motion to go into executive session to discuss pending litigation, potential, potential, and, I'm sorry, no, potential litigation and the 2024 professional contracts. There's a motion. Do I have a second? Oh, sorry. Uh, can I get a roll to go into executive session? Sorry. Mayor Carroll? Yes. Mr. Hill? Yes. Councilwoman Englehart? Yes. Mr. Campion? Yes. Fashna? Yes. Mr. Levitt? No. Mr. Cook? Yes. Ms. Giffen? Yes. Ms. Weitzman? Yes. Okay. So we're going to go into executive yes. session. Um, um, there is one member of the public watching. I'm going to ask them to leave. I'm going to shut down the webinar. Just because say action will not be taken. Um, we will not be returning to public session after. Um, we, this is just for discussion. There will be no action taken by the board in executive session. Do I need to say anything else? Uh, so this will also be ending the public session um, at this time. And again, like you said, it won't be returned. It won't be returning. So uh, we've got one member of the public uh, online. And I'm going to uh, say goodnight to them. Um, I'm going to lock the webinar and close the door. Hold on. Let me do that. And um, since we're moving into executive session, I'm going to end the recording. Who did the motion and the second on?